So I've made it to Belfast. I'm up to see uh, a fighter from here, Mr. Decky Dalton. And this is the Road to Bama vlog. Is it really a really good day? It's fucking crack a day from Belfast. So, how you been getting ready for the fight then? So, yeah, I'm just out of the gym. Mary kind of this week's just all about keeping myself um, busy and, uh, you know, just well loosened up and stuff like that there. I'm not sitting about getting stiff and not out in the roads, you know, as, as well. Pounding the knees and stuff. Um, so, we're just out of, we're just out of, Iron fit there with um, Jonathan Neeson, movement maestro, just doing our, our, our movement workouts there. Just kind of going over a couple of things, a couple of areas, and putting the last kind of final touches on that. Um, I've uh, light boxing spar with one of my one of my friends later on the night. And there's kind of the last training session of, of of this week. So I'm only back from Thailand. There I was in Phuket top team for. Uh, I was in Phuket, top team there for four weeks. Um, How did you find that? Yeah, it was uh, it was a very good experience. Very tough, all the same. You know what I mean? Again, I actually said it. I, I made it tough. I was there training two, three times a day and stuff. So I, I actually, honestly, haven't felt in better shape. I'm I'm on a bus plane right now. Oh, yeah? I could get a fan on. But <laughs> How are you now compared to your last fight? What, what have you changed or what's it um, like? Again, I've obviously went abroad and went to Thailand from a training camp. Um, Is that the first time you went to Thailand? No, that's, uh, I've actually been before with uh, a couple of my friends. I did a, a wee bit of training, just messed about, you know, kind of just to uh, feel the ropes, as yeah. they say. But uh, this time, again, I've introduced uh, movement into my, into my training with, with, with Jonathan. Um, I've also been, uh, you know, bringing that there, bringing that out to Thailand with me just to keep me in premium condition. I think my, my dad and all has been a lot better. And uh, again, it's just uh, uh, it's been a long road back in the in the cage. I haven't fought in four years, but I think it could, as well it was a, it was a curse. It's also been a blessing. You know what I mean? To get myself my head around things. Did, did you miss it a lot? Um, ah, every day. I couldn't even. Watch. It was hard to watch fights. You know the people were talking about because I missed it that much. You know what I mean. I was, the only thing I could do was a wee bit of boxing, a wee bit of this, fucking do a wee bit of. I I I don't even like weight. I never do weights. I was even trying to do a wee bit of weights and stuff. You know, just to kind of keep myself from going insane at times. You, know, you go from my uh, training every day out, going to the gym, jumping about, happening. One day you're you're bed bound. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What, what about the guy you're fighting? Um, Do you know much on him? I don't know much on him, and I haven't really watched much on him. I watched one fight on him, and uh, one fight of his, and I was just like, he's just a one-trick pony. So, he, like, he just, he's very cagey, and he backs off, and doesn't want to engage. It's all good. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I think that I'm going to do, do the business pretty, pretty soon. Um, Try pretty early in the fight, like I can't see it going too far. I don't want to be hanging about in there, don't want to be rolling about the ground, just want to go in, have a good old fight, and just see who comes off second best, I guess. Don't like all this feeling out and r running around the cage and fencing and shit like that there, you know. Sorry about my language, but um, it's just one of them ones. You want, you want to get in and get wired in, and if you come out, out second best, you come out second best, go out your shield. 
see. Isn't that it? Let's get some food. Yeah, that's it. There's a burrito bar. We're going to get some <laughs> something to eat here now. Um, I think it was just all thinking about a lot of things at the time. Just uh, having a lot of time to myself. Um, kind of woke up one day and made the decision that you know wasn't going to just hang about and wait on something else either bad or good to happen. It was just going to make a decision to you know get back into the cage and. It's the only thing I've ever felt comfortable doing, and you know what I mean? I wasn't born to be a plumber or a, a, a bricklayer, or, you know, I wasn't, wasn't born to be in any aim trade, it's a fight trade. That's the only one that I've ever, I've ever been comfortable doing, and probably the only one I'll, I'll ever make money doing. It's like a, a last ditch, it's a now or never. I could have waited until it was maybe 26, 28, maybe, you know, had one or one fight, and, Told all my mates, you know, I fought in a cage one day and stuff like that, but for now it's just like I'm gonna try my best. I've, I've only got a year or two, maybe a couple of years to do to do well, so I'm gonna just take it now, get back, and just suck up all the injuries and all the bad things that ever happened, just give it hell on Bama, uh, at Bama, sorry, on Saturday and uh, hopefully get a fight literally as as soon as I leave that cage, start talking about other fights, get get uh, get something else organized. So, yeah. what's your, what's your prep now for the next couple of days? Next couple of days, just keeping myself occupied, you know. Again, trying to stay away from the chocolate. There, there isn't one in our house anyway, but just trying to stay away from the chocolate and stuff like that there and maintaining my weight and just keep my mind busy and not, not letting other things from outside start playing on my mind. A lot of fighters, you know, that, that can happen to them. They hear their mates talking, you're just expected to kill this guy. And, you know, sometimes the pressure builds up. You know, people are like, oh, I just, oh you're just gonna, you're just gonna go in there and you're just gonna hit him, it's gonna be all over, but not everything works out like that. Uh, hopefully on Saturday, you know it does. <laughs> you see, that would be, make me happy, man. It means I can get my next fight um, as soon as I can. But uh, other than that, you know, just kind of keeping myself free, flowing, moving, just kind of loose and stuff like that there. Making my weight on Friday, 3 o'clock, I think, the way I'm not, not, not to check. But uh, that's it. That's everything. Ready to rock. Can't wait. It's <laughs> been four years and a couple of days isn't going to make a difference to me, you know, so come with. So, great day hanging out with Dickie Dalton. Made it back from Belfast in one piece. Two sessions today he did, so I got to hang out with him for the whole day. We went to um, a place called Iron for his mobility and strength conditioning coach. And then we went in, we met Peter Lavery in Kyojin center of Belfast, Black Belt BJJ, super referee. So all in all, it was a good day. So if you've liked the vlog so far, please share them. This Saturday 27th, we've got the uh, Three Arena and Bama 24 is on. So get your tickets, come in, it's gonna be a great night. I'm gonna be there till the next one, we're after.